Okay, we are on the air. Sorry for the delay. A little bit of problems here in the press box, but uh, we're up and going now, I believe. And uh, I believe the game has already started. Uh, North Mac has a runner on second. Nobody out. Uh, hit batsman, first batter up for North Mac. And we just had a balk call. Jesse Thompson on the mound for the Cougars. <coughs> and uh, the North Mac player moves on to third base. And there's a wild one from Jesse Thompson back to the screen. And the runner scores. North Mac on top, one to nothing here, top of the first inning. And uh, we'll get you caught up here in a little bit on things as we get settled in. Thompson back ready to deliver. We got a three ball, one strike count. Strike on the outside corner. Looks like an off speed pitch. No one more at bat for North Mac. Thompson's next delivery. Popped up on the infield and taken by the third baseman. For IC. One down. That was Jordan Lynn. One down. Austin Harvey coming to the plate for North Mac. Takes first one. Ball one. Thompson back up on the rubber. They were swung on, fouled back, out of play. Evens the count at one and one. Thompson ready. Comes one one pitch, swung on. Popped up. That's on the infield. And first baseman Corey Norton calls off the rest of the Cougar infielders. Takes it for out number two. Talkington. Now batting. Strike one from Thompson. Strike two. Thompson out ahead in the count. 0 and 2. Deliver it. Swung on. Ground ball to second. Field it over to first. And the Cougars are out of the inning. One run for North Mac. Had a hit Batman. A stolen base. And uh, ended up scoring on a wild pitch. Can they get the run uh, without the benefit of a hit? So North Mac on top, one to nothing, after uh, one half inning. Getting ready for the bottom half of the inning. Derek Hemmel, Kyle Sims, be the first two Cougars at bat. Beautiful day here at the ballpark. 
Looks like spring has finally arrived. Had an exciting first game today. The Chiefs played. They won in extra innings at the bottom of the 13th. The Chiefs scored a run and won a victory over the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. On the mound for North Mac today will be Logan Talkington. And behind the plate, catching, will be Austin Harvey. Talkington and Harvey are your battery for the North Mac Panthers. Derek Immel up first for the Illini Central Cougars. He steps in and waits the first pitch from Talkington. And here's the one up and the pitch. Strike over the inside corner. Swung on, fouled back up into the stands right here to the right of us. Runs count to 0-2. Talking to the end of the windup. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swung on, out into right center field. And a diving catch on right. Nice catch. Robbing Himmel of a base hit. One down for the Cougars. Kyle Sims steps to the plate for Line Ice and Rome. Here's the first pitch. The low and inside, ball one. Sims steps back in, talking in on the mound, ready. Here's the windup and the pitch. A little bit low. Runs the count to 2-0. and oh. Talking in. Delivers. Called strike. 2-1 the count. One out, bottom of the first. Cougars down, one to nothing. Talking in with the delivery. Swung on, ground ball up the middle. Short stop over, fields it. Fires across. Two down. <laughs> Corey Norton, <coughs> first baseman for the Cougars, steps up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Talking to delivers. High and away, ball one. That one's on the outside corner. Evens the count up, one and one. Talking and delivers. High and away, ball two. Two and one, the count.
Swung on, fouled off. Runs the count to two and two. Norton had a good rip at that one. Fouled it off to the left. Here's one up in the pitch. Ball three. High and outside. Full count. Corey Norton. Waits, talking into delivers. Just a bit outside. And Norton draws the walk. So we Cougars have a runner. Two outs, runner on first. Down in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher, Norton off to second, and he'll make it standing up. Jesse Thompson at bat now for the Cougars. Counts 1-0 and to him. Runner on second in scoring position. Talking to the end of the stretch. Checks the runner. Brings it to Thompson. Down low. Ball two. Got two outs running around second. Dogging it in the stretch. Brings it a bit outside. Runs the count to 3 and 0. Oh. 3 0 -oh count on Jesse Thompson. Corey Norton, the base runner at second. Talking it in the stretch. Delivers outside. Thompson walks on four straight. And the Cougars have something going here. Runners on first and second. Riley Means comes to the plate. Cougar catcher. Two runners on, two out. Talking to an end of stretch. Here's the pitch. Down low. Nice block by the catcher. Count goes to 1-0. and oh. Means at the plate. Two runners on. Talking to delivers. Strike over the inside corner. Runs the count to 1-1. One and one. One one the count. Two runners on. One to nothing. North Mac in the lead. Bottom of the first. Swung on. Drilled into the left center field. Center fielder comes over and makes the catch. To retire the side. The Cougars get a couple runners on. Leave them stranded. We go to the second with the score. North Mac Panthers one. The line eye central Cougars nothing. Thompson back on the mound. Means back behind the plate. So we get ready for any number two. I'd like to mention one of our sponsors. Dos Amigos restaurant in Mason City, Illinois. Great Mexican-American food. Uh, I'd like to thank them for helping sponsor our athletic and other events here at uh, Illini Central that we've been able to air. And uh, if you're ever in Mason City, Great place to eat, Dos Amigos, in downtown Mason City. Yeah. 
And we're ready for inning number two. Sam Dunn steps to the plate for North Mac. Thompson ready. In the one up and here's the delivery. Swung on a miss. Strike one. Swung on. Out into right center field. Not going to be caught. Kyle Sims chases it down. Going to get it in. Dunn's on his way around second. Heading for third. Here comes the relay throw. Going to be late. And Dunn into third with a leadoff triple to start the second inning. A line shot into the right center field gap. So North Mac threatening to put another run on the board. They got a runner on third. Nobody out. Thompson will go from the windup. Here's his delivery. Swung on. Fly ball into center field. Sims comes on. He's going to handle that one. Here comes the front. Throw the plate. Could be too late. Sacrifice fly. RBI. For North Mac. That was Connor McElfresh with the uh, RBI. One down. Strike on the inside corner. Caleb Crawford at bat for North Mac. Nobody on, one down. North Mac up 2 nothing. Thompson with the delivery. Curveball low. Ball one. Runs the count to one and one. Thompson in the windup. Fastball off the plate a bit inside. Count runs to two and one. Thompson ready, working quickly. Fire swung and missed. Two two count. We'll double check that scoreboard here. Had it two one. I believe it's two two though. Swung on, fouled straight back. Now I know it's two two. One down, nobody on. McAlfres, the batter. I'm sorry. Crawford, the batter. McAlfres got the ooh, curveball. Doesn't curve. And hits Crawford in the back. And North Mac has a base runner. Runner on first, one down. Kevin Loveless steps in for North Mac. Facing Thompson. Thompson into the stretch. He delivers. Swung on. Fouled off. Strike one. Thompson on the mound. Ready. Into the stretch. Curveball swung and missed. Strike two. Thompson working out ahead now. Here's stretch. The pitch fastball swung on into right field. Base hit. Gets by the right fielder. The runners advancing, and they're going to be held at second and third as the throw comes in. Second and third, one out. Base hit and an air on that one. Number 18, Caleb Putman steps in. Thompson will work out of the windup. Here's the first pitch outside, ball one. Go, 
Second, third one out. Thompson delivers. Putnam. Squeeze plays on. Gets the bunt down. Only plays the first. Nobody covering first. Second baseman late getting there. And Thompson saw that before he threw and held on to it. Got to be a base hit. RBI for Putman. Runs the score to three to nothing. Thompson off stretch, swung on, foul ball. Runner is going with the pitch. Got no one count. Runners on the corners. Thompson ready to deliver. End of the stretch. Runners going. Pitches outside. Means makes no throw. Stolen base. One one the count. Thompson now working off the windup. Fastball swung on, fouled back, out of play. Thompson ahead in the count, one and two. Needs a strikeout here. Thompson on the mound. Get the signal. In the lineup. Curveball. Got him. Snapped that one off, caught the inside corner. For out number two, big strikeout for Thompson. Needed that one. Second and third, two outs now. Thompson in the windup. Here's delivery. Fastball swung on and missed. No one more at the plate. Thompson in the windup and delivery. Curveball misses just inside. Didn't break enough to catch the inside corner. Moore kind of hung that elbow out there like he wanted to get hit. Thompson into the delivery. Swung on and missed. Fastball. Good fastball on the outside corner. Strike two. One, two the count. Thompson with the curveball. Swung on. Fly ball. Center field. Sims drifts over. Oh, got that over his head. That ball carried better than what Sims thought. That's going to bring in two runs. That's going to bring... More around. He's going to try to score on this, and he will. Inside the park home run. Noah Moore. That ball just carried more than what Sims thought. Got over his head. And the Panthers have plated five runs here in the second. Base is empty now. North Mac up six to nothing. Austin Harvey. Thompson's first pitch misses outside to Harvey. One and over the count. Thompson winds, delivers. Missed inside. Fastball. Two and oh. Base is empty. I see down six zip. Thompson delivers and a little bit low. Harvey takes it, runs again to three and oh. Uh, North Mac didn't like that one. Uh, caught the inside corner. According to Dustin Carter, the home plate umpire. Thompson winds and delivers. Swung on, shot down the left field line, stays fair, right inside the, the line. Harvey's going to pull up with a, an easy double. Hit a rope down the left field line. 
stayed just fair. Probably about six inches inside the left field foul line. Courtesy runner in, Alex Barnes. Talking to the pitcher at the plate now. Swings from the left side. Swung on, fouled off on the left side. Strike one. Tom's in the stretch. Oh, a nice curveball. Caught the outside corner. Backdoor curveball. Strike two. <coughs> Thompson's got his sign into his stretch. Another curveball. Swung on tap towards the right side. Norton over. He fields it. Flips to Thompson covering. And they've got him. And that brings an end to the inning. But not before. North Mac puts five runs on the board. And takes a six to nothing lead over the Cougars. to thank another one of our sponsors, Josh Peterson, Country Financial, helping us bring you the broadcast of not just today's game, but uh, other events there at Illini Central. Started back uh, with volleyball, girls basketball, and boys basketball. And uh, very thankful to be here today. Beautiful day at O'Brien Field is the Cougars get the opportunity to play on uh, Brian Field, the home field for the Cardinals minor league affiliate here in Peoria. And they're going against uh, the North Mac Panthers. And uh, this is all being brought to you by, along with our other sponsors, Josh Peterson, country financial agent from Mason City. <coughs> and uh, we thank you a lot for that. Ready for the bottom of the second. Jordan Lynn leading off the bottom of the second for the Cougars. Need a bounce back inning here. Need to put some runs on the board and get themselves back in the game. Jordan Lynn at the plate. Hoggington into the windup. Steve Ray toward the inside corner. Hoggington jumps out ahead 0 1 1. Comes here 1. Swung on and missed. Strike 2. O 2. Nobody on. Nobody out. Talkington delivers. Swung and missed. Good fastball from Talkington to record the first out of the inning. Lynn down on strikes. <coughs> Cole Rankin steps to the plate. Swings from the left side. Steps in. Talkington ready to deliver. Over the outside corner. Nice pitch. Good location. Gets out ahead, 0 and 1. Here's the windup. And the 0 1 delivery. Swung on. Back up the middle, and the center fielder comes in. Ain't going to get there. Rankin with the base hit. Then 
Hit it hard, but it found an open area and dropped in. Rankin on base. One down. Seth Leggins, by nice central sophomore, steps to the plate to face Talkington. Here's the pitch over the inside corner, strike one, good fastball. As Talkington works ahead here to Leggins. Rankin gets his lead. Talkington into the stretch. Here's delivery. Swung on into the gap. In the left field between short, short and third. Solid hit by Leggins. And the Cougars have something going. First and second, one out. Cody Curry. I see sophomore steps to the plate. Runners take their leads. Talking in into the stretch. Here's the pitch. The dirt. Ball one. Talking gets his sign. Checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Swung and missed. Evens the count of one and one. Stretch. Curry waits. Here's the pitch. Caught the outside corner. Good fastball on the outside corner. Count runs to one and two. Who's looking for a big hit here? Want to plate some runs here in the second inning. Have the opportunity with Curry at the plate. Here's the stretch. And the delivery. Swung and missed. Good high fastball. Blew it by him. Two outs. We're back to the leadoff man. Derek Himmel at the plate. <coughs> Himmel steps in. Talking and checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Down on the dirt. Ball one. Good block by the catcher. one -oh count to Himmel. He waits a second. Talking and delivers. Swung on. Ground ball up the middle. High bouncer. Shortstop takes it. Flips the second for the final out. So the Cougars mount a little bit of a threat. Can get no runs in. And we'll go to the top of the third. And the score is North Mac 6. The Line Eye Central Cougars nothing. Thank again one of our sponsors. Mason City IGA. For all your shopping needs in downtown Mason City. Hometown proud and a proud sponsor of uh, IC Athletics and other uh, activities at the school that we are able to broadcast here on our network and we're glad to have them as a sponsor and are very very glad uh, that they are able to help us bring these events to you all right we're ready for inning number three Sam Dunn steps to the plate for North Mac. The Panthers up six to nothing. We're going in the top of the third. Thompson still on the mound for the Cougars. Here's a windup. And the pitch. Dunn swings and misses. Strike one. Thompson jumps out ahead. Thompson working quickly. 
delivers. Next one, curveball. Swung on a little blooper on the right field. Going to fall. Again, not hit hard, but it finds that uh, open area where nobody was. And the Panthers have their leadoff man on to start the third. Runner on first. Nobody out. McAlfrish. Connor McAlfrish. Runner's going. Means throws to second. Going to be late. Stolen base. Pitch missed outside. So it's 1 0 count. Runner on second now. Nobody down. Thompson checks the runner. Pitch is nice. Fastball on the outside corner. Evens a count of 1 1. Thompson into the stretch. Checks the runner. Brings it to the plate. Swung on. Foul down the right field line. Out of play. Thompson out ahead. One and two in the count. Needs to make a good pitch here. Keep that runner on second base. Don't want him to move to third. And get to third with less than two outs. Needs a strikeout right here. Thompson in the stretch. Bounces one in front of the plate. There goes the runner. Means did a nice job of blocking it, but the runner got a good read on it. And uh, Means was able to, to keep it in front of him, pounced on it, but because the runner got such a good jump, could not throw him out, and the runner's now on third, which is what we didn't want, and only one out. Thompson winds, fires. That one is in the dirt outside and goes back to the screen. Wild pitch. And the runner on third is going to come home. And the count is three and two. Ball four. And North Mac has another runner on. Runner on first. Nobody out. Top of the third. Thompson laboring a bit here the last couple innings. Checks signal. Checks the runner. Brings it to the plate. On the outside corner. Nice pitch. Jumps out ahead 0-1. Top of the third. Seven to nothing, North Mac. Runner on first, nobody out. Thompson into the stretch. Here's the delivery. Bit low. Crawford batting now for North Mac. Count is one and one. Runner on first takes his lead. Thompson checks him, delivers. Swan fouled back. Count runs to one and two. Caleb Crawford, way in the delivery from Thompson. Here comes curveball. Hits him in the back. Thompson tried to start that curveball out at the batter, break it across. It was not a sharp breaking pitch, and it stayed inside. Crawford took it in the back, and we now have runners on first and second. Still nobody out. Swung on and missed. Foul tip. I'm sorry. Foul back to the screen. Thompson out ahead 0 1. Nobody warming up in the bullpen for the Cougars at this point. Looks like they're going to stick with Thompson. Needs a double play ball or a strikeout here. Into the stretch. And the pitch. Misses outside. Kevin Loveless with a 1 1 count. Looking to add to North Max lead. Thompson trying to keep that from happening. Here's his pitch. 
in the dirt. Gets by. Gets by means a little bit. Far enough for the runners to advance. We now have runners on second and third. Still nobody out. 2-1 count on the batter, Kevin Loveless. Thompson will now work out of the windup. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Down the right field line. Foul and out of play. Runs the count to two and two. Second, third. Nobody out. 2-2 two -two count on the batter. Thompson's delivery. Swung on. Ground ball up the middle. And uh, nice diving stop by Derek Kimmel, but he can do nothing with it. Nice play. But it, slow roller up the middle brings in another run. And runs it to 8 to nothing. Caleb Putnam, ground ball, sharply hit in the hole between short and third. Runner on his way to third, and he'll make it. Base hit to left by Putnam. Drives in around and leaves runners on the corner. And it is now nine to nothing. North Mac. Thompson stretch, deliver. Inside corner, strike one. Thompson shoots his sign. Into the stretch. Runners going. Curveball into the dirt means has no chance. Blocks the ball, but no chance to throw out the runner. We now have runners on second and third, and nobody out. Another stolen base. 1-1 one, one count. Thompson in the windup. Pitch misses inside. Kyle Kop Kropowitz. 2-1 count on him. Thompson with delivery. On the outside corner. Evens the count up at 2-2. Two Thompson really needs a strikeout right now. He needs to stop the bleeding. Here's the windup and the pitch. Swung on, back up the middle. Another base hit. Kropowitz with a single in the throw. Uh, misses the cutoff man, and Kropowitz is able to get the second. to score 12 to nothing. North Mac not necessarily hitting the ball real hard, but they're all finding holes. There's been a couple of them just bouncing balls up the middle, just out of the reach of uh, the shortstop and the second baseman. That's what that one was. Brought home two runs. And Coach Colby Bunner goes out to the mound. He's going to make a pitching change. New pitcher coming in for Illini Central is 23, Jordan Lynn. He moves in from third base. Thompson, I believe, will go to third and play there. Lynn, the new pitcher. Cougars down 12 to nothing. And the sun comes out. Bright sunshine now here. Beautiful day at the ballpark. Great day to be up here. Beautiful ballpark up here at O'Brien Field. If you ever get a chance to come to a Chiefs game, I highly recommend it. Just a really nice facility here. And uh, yeah, I know the our team was very excited about getting the opportunity to play out here on this diamond. Beautiful diamond. By the way, uh, I'd like to urge you to get out and support all the students at uh, Line Eye Central and all their activities. Uh, this evening, if you're not doing anything, uh, I know the play is going on. I had an opportunity to see it. The young 
people at uh, Line Eye Central did a great job. Got some great actors there. Uh, just uh, did a great job with the play. And uh, very enjoyable. I had a very enjoyable day watching the play yesterday. So I highly encourage you to get out and support all our students in all their activities. No more. Leadoff man up for North Mac is Lynn's ready. High and tight with the first one. Ball one. Runner on second. Nobody out yet. Lynn into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. One and one the count. Runner on second. Nobody out. Lynn into the stretch. One one pitch. Misses inside. Runs the count to two and one. Checks the runner. Lynn delivers. Misses just a bit up and in. Runs again to three and one. There's delivery from Lynn. Good pitch on the outside corner. Makes it a full count. Lynn's getting the sign. Runner leading from second. Batter calls time. Moore settles back in. Lynn looks back in for the signal. Got what he wants. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Just off the plate. Bit outside. And Moore coaxes a walk. Out of Lynn. Puts runners on first and second. Still nobody down. Top of the third here at O'Brien Field. The Lanai Central Cougars taking on the North Mac Panthers. And the Panthers are having the best of it at this point. They're up 12 to nothing. Lynn on in relief. Jordan Lynn with the pitch. Misses up and in. 1 0 the count. <coughs> Got the sign. In the stretch, checks the runners, brings it to the plate. Swung on, fly ball, way up in the air. Long run, left fielder, shortstop goes out, nobody. Then I got a chance to get the runner third, but the throw's high. Now there comes a run to the plate. That throw gets wild. Here comes another run to the plate. And another runner all the way around to third. A high fly ball into left that nobody could corral. Derrick Hamill made a nice effort to try to run it down. Could not. And it dropped. And then they had the runner hung up. He'd gone back to second. There's a high throw to third that got by. And then on the attempted play at the plate, that throw was wild, and that allowed another runner to go, and the batter grants all the way to third. Jordan Lynn delivers that one. Shot down the left field line. Fair ball into the corner. Going to be at least two for Logan Talkington, the pitcher. And he's going to pull up at second base. Got an RBI double. And the score runs to 15 to nothing. Been a long top of the third. Cougs need to get some outs. North Mac has been able to hit the ball where nobody is. Hit it where they ain't. The old adage in baseball, and North Mac's done a good job of that. Runner on second. Nobody down. Lynn with the delivery. Swung on and missed. Took a good rip at a high fastball and missed it. Strike one. Jordan Lynn, sophomore pitcher for the Cougars, looks in, gets his sign, into the stretch. Here's the delivery. Misses up and in. Counts one and one. Hey, 
Sam Dunnett to play for North Mac. Waiting to win his delivery. Swung on and missed. Lynn up in the count one and two now. Looking for the first time of the inning. The Panthers have already put nine runs on the board. Time to put an end to that. Man in the stretch. Here's the pitch. Slow curveball. Got him. Swung on and missed. First down of the inning. Finally. One out. Runner on second. McElfresh back up again. Swung on. That's a shot. That was not a bloop. That's a line drive into the left center field gap. That's going to play to run. Miguel Frisch uh, turns at first but holds up. And Sims does a nice job getting over and cutting that off. Hard hit ball into the gap. Sims a nice job of cutting it off. But the run scores. And the inning continues. Caleb Crawford steps to the plate for North Mac. Lynn into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Stu Reich on the outside corner. Lynn ahead in the count 0 1. Crawford waits. Lynn delivers. Swung on. Popped up. Back and out of play. 0 2. Going to the count. Jordan Lynn at the plate, or at, on the mound, looking in for the signal. Into the stretch. Swung on, ground ball. Could be two. Up, spooted by Hamill. No play. Ground ball up the middle. Hamill got over. Couldn't come up with it clean, though. By the time he got it to second, it was too late. That will be an error on the shortstop. Shane Thornton comes to the plate for North Mac to face Jordan Lamb. First, second, one out. Just a bit low. Ball one. Shane Thornton waits the pitch from Lynn. Swung on and missed. Fastball over the inside bar of the plate. And on the fist on Lynn's, he couldn't make contact or to Thornton, couldn't make contact, and uh, strike one, evens the count. Swung on, fly ball down the right field line, and drops foul. One and two the count. Lynn looks in for the signal. End of the stretch. Checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Curveball. Cougar pitchers have had trouble with that pitch. Curveball that doesn't break and ends up uh, plunking the batter in the back. Caleb Putman back up again. The big hit earlier. Takes the first pitch. High and away. Ball one. Bases loaded, one out. North Mag up 16 to nothing. Jordan Lynn into the windup. Here's the pitch. Outside gets by, but the North Mac runners hold. 
classy move by the North Mac coach. Not rubbing it in. Could have scored another run quite easily. He held them up. Going to make them earn their runs. Swung on, and they're going to earn one there. Base hit right up the middle. Line shot. Going to bring in two. Crawford on his way to second, and he's in there. Runners on second and third. And the merry-go-round continues here in the third inning. Eighteen to nothing. Top of the third. One out. Second and third. Jordan Lynn on the mound. Kyle Copperwitz at the plate. Lynn delivers. Copperwitz checked his swing. Can it hold up? Foul ball. Lynn's ahead 0-1. Copperwitz awaits the pitch. Lynn on the mound, looks in, gets the signal. In the windup. Here's the delivery. This is up. One and one. Lynn's got his sign. Here's the pitch. Low ball two. Two and one the count. Lynn's ready. Here's the pitch. Up and in. Ball three. Three and one the count. Second and third. One out. We're in the third. Lynn with the delivery. Swung on. Popped up. That's playable. Means over. Nice play. Riley Means. Catches that foul ball down the third baseline. And we got out number two. Let's get the third one here. And one more back up again. Leadoff man for North Mac. Lynn ready to deliver. Swung on. Fly ball. Out towards the right. And it drops. Not hard hit, but it found an open area. Two more runs in. And it is now 20 to nothing. As the roof has caved in here in the third inning. Swan fouled back. Good fastball by Lynn. Jumps out ahead 0-1. Two down runners on first. 20 to nothing. 12 hits. Four errors by the Cougars have not helped. 12 hits by North Mac. There's another pop fly. Norton's going to take this one, and the inning is finally over. Out number three, but not until North Max scores 14 runs in the top of the third and takes a 20 to nothing lead. We'll go to the bottom of the third. But before we do, let's bring you a word from one of our sponsors, Nickel Chevrolet and Buick in Mason City at the junction of Route 10 and Route 29, Nickel Chevrolet Buick. If you're looking for a car, new or used, stop in at Nichols. If you're going to drive away in a car, drive away in a car from Nickel Chevrolet Buick. 
Going into the bottom of the third now. Cougars got a long uphill battle here. If they're going to get back in this one. Bottom of the third. 20 to nothing North Mac. The Panthers just put 14 rounds on the board in the top of the third. In an inning that went on forever. Time for the Cougar offense to get in gear here. Going to have to get some runs on the board. Looks like a pitching change for the Panthers. I believe Caleb Crawford will go to the mound here in the bottom of the third. Austin Harvey remains the catcher. And it is Crawford on the mound for North Mac. He'll try to protect that 20 run lead that the Panthers have built up. For the Cougars, it's going to be Kyle Sims leading things off. Number two hitter for the Line Central. At the top of the order, maybe we can get some runs on the board here. Start to battle our way back into this game. As I was mentioning earlier, be sure and get out and support all our uh, students at Illini Central and all their activities. Play going on tonight. Uh, we got uh, the girls' softball season has started. Uh, I know Coach Rogers and the girls are working hard and uh, uh, hoping to uh, begin uh, turning that uh, softball program around. And, uh, of course, the baseball. Got some baseball games coming up. Supposed to have some uh, nice weather. The weather's turned warm. Good time to get outside. And don't forget about the track. Uh, IC track team will also be competing this spring. And whenever you get a chance, uh, you know, help support and, and get out and cheer on the local teams. Got some good hardworking kids out there participating in a lot of activities. And uh, I know they appreciate su your support. And I think you'll have an enjoyable time uh, if you go out and uh, take in some of these activities. All right, we're ready to go. Bottom of the third. Sims at uh, the plate. Fastball over the inside corner. Strike one. No one won the count on Sims. Nobody on, nobody out. Crawford delivers. Sims fouls it off to the right. Down the count, 0-2. Crawford wastes no time. In the lineup, here's the pitch. Curveball, and it caught the inside corner. Good pitch. Crawford makes a quick work of Sims. And there's one out. Here in the bottom of the third for the Cougars. Corey Norton, number three hitter for Illini Central. Number 11, first baseman, lefty. Takes pitch inside, ball one. One down, nobody on. Crawford with delivery. Norton swings and misses. Good pitch down and in. Norton offered at it, could not make contact. Evens the count up one and one. Crawford ready to deliver again. Here's the pitch. Again, working that inside part of the plate. Gets strike two on Norton, swing and a miss. Norton ready, so is Crawford. Here's the pitch. Fastball just a bit low. Over the plate, but low. Count runs to two and two. Here's the pitch. Swung on right back up the middle, but right at Crawford. He lobs it over to first. Two down. Crawford getting some rising from his teammates and uh, stuff. Uh, didn't make a real good throw. He just kind of lobbed and just barely got it there. Matter of fact, it bounced where it got there. Here's Crawford ready for the first pitch to Jesse Thompson. He grounds the ball to short 
or to third, I'm sorry. Throw to first, gets by, and Thompson's going to be the second. Thompson grounded the ball to third. The throw got away from the first baseman, and Thompson ends up on second base. Cougars looking to score here. Two outs. Runner on second. Riley Means, Cougar catcher at the plate. Let's see if we can get a run on the board here. Crawford in the stretch. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Misses outside. Means jumps ahead in the count. 1-0. and oh. Come on, Riley. Get a base hit. Let's get us a run. Here's a pitch from Crawford. Swung on. Tapper down the third baseline. That's going to be a tough play. Means is running, and they just get him at first. Thought maybe he might be able to beat it out. Nice play by the pitcher, though. Crawford bounced over, got on that. Picked it up barehanded, fired to first for the third out of the inning. We're going to the top of the fourth. Cougars trail 20 to nothing. to mention uh, one of our sponsors again, Dos Amigos. Great American Mexican food in downtown Mason City. Uh, make sure you stop by and uh, check in with the Bradshaws. Enjoy a good meal. Always a good meal there. Uh, great place to eat. Whether you're looking for you know, a burger and fries or a good Mexican meal. Either one. Can't go wrong at Dos Amigos. And we thank them for being a sponsor of our Illini Central activities here on IHSA.TV. Looks like we've got a new pitcher for the Cougars. Cody Curry on the mound now. Curry, sophomore for Illini Central, take over the pitching duties. Jordan Lynn has now moved over to uh, left field. Thompson stays at third. Curry on the mound. North Mac put 20 runs. They've got 12 hits. They've committed one error. For the Cougars, they've got no runs. They've got a couple hits. And they have committed four errors. How about a 1 2 3 inning here? That would be good after that last inning. Curry on the mound for the Cougars. Going in the top of the fourth, 20 to nothing. North Mac. Logan Talkington, the starting pitcher here today, in the mound. He hits one out towards short in the hole. Knocked down by Hamill. Can't come up with it or make the play. Base hit. Leadoff man's on again. For the North Mac Panthers, Logan Talkington started the game as the pitcher. Lefty swinger, he took that one the opposite way into the hole. Himmel made a nice job to get over there. Could not come up with it, though, and get the out. Curry hits the inside corner. The first pitch, strike one. Who won the count? Runner on first, nobody out. Curry in the stretch. Here's the pitch. See you, act two. Curry out ahead of Sam Dunn here, 0 2. See if he can finish him off. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Fouled off the right, out of play. Stays 0 2. Quite a few fans stayed around for this game. Uh, good day for a baseball game. A lot of people from North Mac and Illini Central made the trip up here. Got to see a Chiefs game and see their home team play here on O'Brien Field. Dunn fouls one back. Still 0-2. Curry 
Are we ready? Here's the pitch. Curveball fouled away to the right. Dunn keeps fighting off good pitches from Curry. Counts 0-2. Here's a stretch and the pitch. Swung on and missed. Curry gets a strike out in the first out of the inning. That brings up Christian Intrican. First time up for him. He takes a strike over the outside corner. Curry's ahead 0 1 over Intrican. Christian Intrican, Jr. from North Mac at the plate. First time up today. Here's Curry's pitch. Head on one. Curveball misses high. One and one the count. Here's the pitch. Another curveball. Misses high and inside. Curry falls behind. Two and one. Intrican. Ready, runner off first, Talkington. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fouled back. Two and two. Curry in the stretch. And the pitch. Misses low and away. Full count. Runner on first. One away. Top of the fourth. North Mac on top, 20 to nothing. Here's the pitch from Curry. Intrican pops it up. Uh, not going to be a play on it. Means took a look. Could not get back there. In time to get it. It drops harmlessly in foul territory. And we'll do it all over again. 3-2 count. Runner on first. Double play would be nice right now. Let's see what we can get here. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Misses just outside. North Mac now has runners on first and second. One away. Top of the fourth. Curry stretch and pitch. Steve Reich one. Gage Shepard, the batter. First time up for Shepard. He's behind 0 1 the count. Curry delivers. Misses high with a curveball. 1 and 1. Curry in the stretch. Here's the pitch. Steve Reich over the inside corner. 1 and 2. I think when the game gets to be 20 to nothing, uh, umpires tend to broaden their strike zone a little bit. Swung on and missed. Strike three, the batter's automatically out. He cannot go to first because there is a runner occupying first. Two down. And again, a classy move by the uh, North Mac coach. Telling the runners to stay put, not moving up on pass balls or anything. They're only going to score runs by getting hits. Classy move by the coach. Here's Curry in the stretch, and here's the pitch. Dryak one. This is Shane Thornton up for the second time today. Behind the count, 0-1. Curry in the stretch. It's in this inning right here. Nice pitch on the outside corner. Strike two. It's in this inning right here. Up 0-2. Cody Curry delivers. Curveball. Line to short. Hamill's got it. Hey, we're out of the inning. One, one, two, three, but there are no runs across. And we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Cougars looking to get on the board. As a trail. 20 to nothing. Big third inning by North Mac. They put 14 runs on the board in that third inning.
third inning that went on forever. We'll go here into the bottom of the fourth. And we want to, again, thank one of our sponsors. Can't say enough how much we appreciate that these sponsors and, and what they have done for our sports. And, and uh, by sponsoring these events and by helping out our booster club, uh, it is, a, a, you know, great, great for the school. And uh, we hope that, uh, you know, our sponsors get something out of this. We hope that uh, if uh, you're watching and uh, you note that uh, these people are advertising and helping out the school and uh, the young people in our community, that uh, you'll support them. They support uh, our young people. They support our schools. Please go out and uh, support our sponsors. And one of our sponsors is Josh Peterson. If you got uh, need some financial advice, uh, insurance needs, go see Josh in downtown Mason City, your country financial agent, Josh Peterson. Josh not only is uh, the country financial agent, he also did uh, some work here on the score on the uh, internet with us on our broadcast during basketball season. He was the play-by-play uh, -play man for the basketball, boys basketball team. As a matter of fact, I said something to him about coming up here today, and he was busy and couldn't make it up, but uh, good guy. Stop by and see him. And uh, if nothing else, just stop in and say, hey, really appreciate you sponsoring uh, the things you do at the, the school and for your support of the school. All right, we're going in the bottom of the fourth. Here's wind up and the pitch misses outside. Looks like we've got another new pitcher. Looks like Sam Dunn on the mound now for North Mac. He misses, low and away with his first pitch. 1-0. Second pitch, strike on the outside corner. And Jordan Lynn at the plate for the Cougars. Looking to get something started. Here's the pitch, swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. Done. Steps off. Lynn steps out. Let them settle back in. Now we're ready to go. Here's done with the pitch. Just missed. Off the outside corner. 2-2 two -two the count. Here's Dunn's delivery. Just a bit low and outside. Full count. Jordan Lynn. Looking to get something started here for the Cougars. Bottom of the fourth. Dunn's delivery. Swung on a miss. Ball gets by a foul tip. Foul tip back to the screen. We'll do it over again. Still 3-2. Lynn just got a piece of that one. Also like to thank the Peoria Chiefs for uh, all their hospitality and everything. Here's the pitch. This is high. Cougars have a runner on. See if we can bring him on around. Nobody out. Runner on first, Jordan Lynn. Cole Rankin steps to the plate for the Illini Central Cougars. Number nine, lefty swinger, freshman. Facing Dunn. Down in the stretch, checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Steve Aquan. Anyway, as I was saying, thank the Peoria Chiefs for uh, their hospitality, all their help. Set us up here in a, in a booth so we could announce the game, helped us uh, in every way they could, and we really appreciate it. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hammered down the right field line. It's going to hook foul, though. Rankin out in front a little bit. Got good wood on it. Or should I say aluminum, I guess. Until I'm old school. Foul ball down the right field line. Rankin back. Settles in. Dunn checks for the signal. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Curveball tapped foul down the first baseline by Rankin. Might have come off his foot. Count still 0-2. 
Come on, Cougars, let's get a run on the board. Let's go. Pickoff attempt at first, and they got him. Quick move by Dunn. Caught Lynn leaning for the first out of the inning. Good move by Dunn. A lot of times pitchers won't show their best move right away. He did, and he got Lynn. Caught him leaning. Pitch down and in. Curve ball. One and two to count to drink, and he wanted to swing at that. Held off. Settles back in. Here's Dunn in the windup and the pitch. Swung on down the left field line this time. Foul. Count remains one and two. We got one out. <laughs> Nobody on. Cougars trailing 20 to nothing. Beginning to get a little bit cloudy here. They're calling for some rain earlier tonight. It's been a beautiful day out here, though. If you didn't come up to the game, you missed a, a great afternoon. Beautiful day for baseball. Here's the pitch by Dunn. Swung on and missed by Rankin. Down and in. The catcher blocks it. Pounces on it. Throws to first for the out. That's a strikeout. For Dunn. Two down, nobody on. Seth Leggins steps to play. Leggins had a solid base hit earlier in the game. Steps to play now to face Dunn. Pitch, curveball inside. Leggins all arms and legs trying to get out of the way of that one. Ball one. Dunn delivers. Swung on and missed. Good fastball on the outside part of the plate. Evens the count of 1-1. One one. Dunn's ready. Here's the pitch. Fastball. One hopper to the shortstop. He's up with it over to first for the out. Solid hit by Leggins, but right at the shortstop. Nice play. He short hopped it, fired it over to the first baseman to retire Leggins and the Cougars. In the fourth, we're going to the top of the fifth. The score is North Mac 20, Illini Central. Zero. And let's take this time to thank again one of our sponsors. Mason City IGA. Great to have a, a grocery store like uh, that uh, in our community. And uh, they do a great job of supporting uh, the school and the students at the school. Always doing a lot to help out. And uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, like I said, go out and show your support. Uh, do your shopping at IGA. They got everything you need right there, right in Mason City. Mason City IGA, hometown proud and proud sponsor of Illini Central activities supporting all the students at Illini Central. Mason City IGA. We're going at the top of the fifth. Pitching change. Where I see Riley Means moves from catching to pitching. Jesse Thompson now moves from third to catch him, and it looks like Jordan Lynn is in at third base now. Cody Curry's in left field. He had been pitching, and so those are the changes. We're the top of the fifth. North Mac on top, 20 to nothing. Caleb Putman, the hitter. Putman at the plate. Means on the mound. He delivers low and away. Ball one. One and oh. Nobody on, nobody out. Means with the delivery. Top of the fifth. Swung on. Little dribbler down the third baseline. That's going to be trouble. 
One of those seen eye hits. Hit it right off the end of the bat. Cued it down the third baseline. It stayed fair. A lot of times you see those things go off and go foul, but not that one. Stayed fair. Dribbled down the line. No play. No chance for a play by anybody on that one. That's the great thing about baseball. Sometimes you hit a hard line drive and it's right at somebody and you get nothing for it and then you hit one like that. Weak hit down the third baseline. But you get a base hit out of it. First pitch from Means, strike one. Means into the stretch, delivers. Little one up the middle. It's going to be right to the second baseman. He grabs it right at the bag, and we got a double play. By the way, that was Alex Barnes. I believe that was his first time up for North Mac. He hit one off the fist right up the middle, grabbed right at second base, stepped on the bag, fired to first, double play. Good defense by the Cougars on that one. We got two outs in the top of the fifth. Nobody on. First pitch from Means, ball one. Means in the wind up in the pitch. This is up high, ball two. This is Kirk Howarth. I believe it's his first time up. He's ahead in the count, 2-0. Oh. Means in the wind up and the pitch. Swung on, shot down the left field line. Fair ball. Rip that one down the line. It gets by the left fielder into the corner. Howarth all the way into third, slides in with a triple. Hard shot down the left field line. That one was ripped. Didn't know if it'd stay fair. Got into the corner. Leggins hustled it back in, but too late to get Howarth. He's at third. Two outs, means into the windup. Here's the pitch. This is upstairs, ball one. Matters Austin Harvey, the catcher. He pops one back right beneath us here. If I had my net, I'd reach down and try to catch that one. But I left it at home, so. And have a shot at it. Hurry at the plate. Two outs, runner on third. Beans on the mound for the Cougars. Here's a wind up in the pitch. Swung on, ground ball. Diving stop by the third or by the third baseman. Himmel. Nice pickup. Long throw. Can't get him though at first. Good try by Himmel. And that's got to be a base hit. Himmel made a nice play. Lynn dove. He missed it. Got by him. Himmel. Got it in the hole. Made a nice play. Could not get it over to first. It was in the dirt to throw. But it was a very tough play. Norton couldn't come up with it. Base hit. Runner on first now. Ground ball to second. Oops, booted. By Cole Rankin and skips out into center field. That will be an error. We now have runners on first and second. Hard hit ball. Rankin couldn't come up with it. Skipped off his leg out into short center field. Air number five on the Cougars. Lights have been on for a good part of the game. I think actually since the start of the game. They're now starting to take effect as uh, we've got some overcast skies. And it's getting a little bit darker. Swung on. That ball was hit out in the gap in left center field. Ain't nobody going to catch that one. That's out of the ballpark. He smoked that one. Home run. That had to be 330 or so out there. Out in the gap in left center field. Got to be an exciting moment for him. To hit one out of a, a ballpark like this. That ball was driven. Sam Dunn, home run. Ball carried well. 
24 to nothing. First pitch by Means popped up down the first baseline. Jesse Thompson gives it. Chase can't come up with it. Means out ahead 0-1. That blast by Dunn, that was a shot. Left center field gap. I knew it was hit well and was hit. I didn't think he'd carry that far. Got out over the wall. Christian Intrican up right now, facing Means. Means, like a curveball that didn't curve, stays up. Even the count of 1-1. One one. Means got the ball back, ready to pitch. Here's the windup. And the delivery. Swung on a miss, Intrican. Down 1-2. Means ready again. Gets a signal. In the lineup. Here's the pitch. This is low and away. 2 2 the count. Seventeen hits for the North Mac Panthers. Twenty four runs. Cut the inside corner. Means gets the strikeout. And the inning's over. But not before. North Mac tacks on three with a monster home run. By Sam Dunn out into the left center field gap. The score is now 24 to nothing. The Cougars on top. Unless they score 14 runs, the game will end here by the 10 run rule. We'll see what happens. Before we do, I'd like to thank a sponsor one more time. Nickel Chevrolet in Buick in Mason City. Uh, great, great sponsor of uh, athletics and all activities at the school. Uh, they do a super job of supporting things at the school and helping out. And uh, if you're looking for a car, make sure you stop in and, and see them out at Nickel Chevrolet in Buick out at the junction of Route 10 and 29. Nickel Chevrolet, Buick. Got uh, all three of my vehicles from Nichols and appreciate uh, their service and their hard work and encourage you to stop out there and if you're looking for a car, stop out and see what they can do for you. If you're going to drive away in a car, drive away in a car from Nichols Chevrolet Buick. It's the bottom of the fifth. Cougars trailing. 24 to nothing. And another pitching change, it looks like, for North Mac. Connor McElfresh now pitching. Cody Curry to the plate for Illini Central on deck. Derek Hamill, the top of the order. Curry out in left field right now. He started as a, uh, or pitched an inning. Uh, now out in left field for the Cougars. Now at bat. Bottom of the fifth. 24 nothing. McElfresh with the pitch. Good fastball over the inside corner. Strike one. Ball low and inside. One and one the count. I'd like to thank our cameraman today, Dalton Griffin, one of our talented students from Illini Central. Dalton uh, has become a pretty good cameraman. He's done a lot of work for the basketball team. He came up here today, helped us out by running the camera for us, and we'd like to thank him. Foul back by Curry, 1-2 the count. And al although he isn't here today, Tony Worley was on the phone uh, calling him and getting... Uh, all the, the information I needed to get this thing up and going here today. Swung on a miss by Curry. Strike three, one down. Tony Worley's done a lot of work uh, here helping us on the broadcast of, of all our activities and everything. Uh, he's kind of our tech guy here, so I'd like to thank him for his help today. 
Wouldn't have been able to do it without him. Here's the first pitch we're going to miss. Strike one to Himmel. One down, nobody on. Cougars looking to at least get on the board here. This will be the last half inning of the day unless they score 14 runs. Down in, in the dirt, ball one. One to one the count. Here's a windup in the pitch. McElfresh delivers. Himmel grounds it to the right side. Fielded by the second baseman over to the first. Himmel's out. Four to three. And the Cougars are down to their last out. Kyle Sims, center fielder, steps to the plate. Kyle Sims at bat. Ground ball, sharply hit to the first baseman. He's got it. Over to step on the bag, and that'll wrap things up here today. The Cougars fall to the North Mac Panthers, 24 to nothing. Big third inning by the Panthers. They put up 14 runs in that third inning. Seemed like it was never going to end. And... Uh, Roll on to the win, 24 to nothing, over the Cougars. Uh, really, the first bad outing for the Cougars. Uh, the Cougars fall to three and four on the year, uh, but they have played some very good ball today. It was not typical of the season they've been having, but uh, we encourage you to get out and, and see them and support them, and also the girls' softball team. Get out and support them. Uh, their season is going on right now, and we have also the. Uh, uh, track team taking place. The class play, if you're sitting at home tonight, don't have anything to do, the play is tonight. And uh, the, the students there did a great job. Uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. And uh, one last time, thank our sponsors, Dos Amigos uh, Restaurant in Mason City, Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City, uh, Josh Peterson, Country Financial Agent in Mason City, and Mason City IGA, Hometown Proud. I'd like to thank all of them for sponsoring this event. I uh, hope you enjoyed the broadcast. A beautiful day here at O'Brien Field. The end result for our game was not so beautiful, but it was a good day for baseball, good day to be outside. Uh, if you you tuned in, I'm glad you were with us. This is John Geisler, uh, who has been doing the play-by-play. -play. Thank Dalton Griffin one more time for running the camera for us today. And thanks to Tony Worley back home someplace uh, for all his technical help behind the scene. And uh, with that... We'll sign off, and we thank you much.